What's up guys, this is Tech Press here and today I'm reviewing the Snug Bluetooth Wireless Keyboard for the new iPad, the iPad, iPad 4, iPad 2, you know, you name it, it works for it these days, there's so many. So, um, just to show you guys a bot packaging, it just comes with a keyboard and a cable inside, that's what it looks like with it, but just to show you guys uh, unboxing and I'm going to demo it for you guys and give you some overviews of it. So, this, um quite an expensive keyboard just to show you just unbox it here. made of aluminium aluminium whatever you say but I say aluminium and it is quite a nice keyboard it is quite light not very light it should really be all made of aluminium because some of it's made of plastic I know the keys up and this bit here but it should really all be made of aluminium instead of some of it being aluminium, some being plastic, because aluminium is quite light compared to plastic itself. But anyway, here is the iPad here, the beast itself, you know, just to put it here. And just to show you what it looks like, bam, looks like a desktop station, you know, all window surface, you know, all, um, but just to show you, this is what it's like, window, um, with it docked in and um, I'm going to show you that it can be a flip case as well just to fit this in for you guys so you just put it in like this wait a sec yep that's in and then bam once it's in you can use it as a case as well at the front that's what they're demoing looks really nice and sleek I'm liking the logo for once they've got really minimalist in the Aluminium, all their stuff these days should really have this nice high class finish and you know it's worth about forty pound and you know you have to I would pay for this actually for the finish they give you and the idea of it being a case as well. So it is pretty cool. So now just to demo it and um, as if I'm using it as a case. So it has a little laptop um lid things to open it just to get um, it off here wait it's, it's a really tight fit this is a could be quite a problem for some and um, as you can see it just comes off like that and then the keyboard separates here as you can see Bluetooth indicator to connect it and just to put the iPad on itself here so you know just to open it up and connect it whoops um so let's just um go on the settings here and let's just connect it up you go in settings to connect it bluetooth on bluetooth keyboard and then you just type it in so it says 4400 and voila we are connected so just to demo it it has these um a command function so look that's like the home button key search function brightness up and down just to show you it working and then it has go to the pictures you know keyboard button different languages play music just to show you yeah um <laughs> volume up and down maybe just need to turn down the volume yep and then some yeah uh, lock button there which is quite useful and it up and down and then star it's quite usual there so that is the keyboard and it's a nice function that it has has some command keys and stuff so let's just um, use the keyboard itself and um, let's just go on notes and let's just do the quick but around um, fox ran over the quick but what um, <laughs> man I was probably going crazy there um, the, but the quick brown fox ran over the lazy whatever let's just type something in like the tech price is doing a video as we speak so just to show you guys here gonna be typing on it the quick brown no um it's quite it's really the keys are really close together as you can see me typing them like hitting them so the tech price is due uh, see it's really uh, irritating as a keys aren't spread out so just gonna write my name 
is the tech press. My name is the... So, that was me doing it as fast as I could. And I made just a little mistake at the end. No, at the start. But that was quite useful and it's quite cool. So, as you can see, it's a pretty nice keyboard, really. I would have two types. One without the stand. So, then they could just cut off this back bit here. Or, and then um, make the keys bigger or something. Or maybe they could just make the keys spread out more because I'm always hitting the keys or something. So just to do a keyboard demo view for you guys again. I um, hope you guys like the view there because it's a bit of an interesting perspective that you know when no one does. So I'm just going to type in www.youtube.com. And as you can see I've done that in like 3 seconds and it's loading up which is is pretty cool keyboard and you know that would be faster than me you know doing it normally and there's something probably up with the internet or something you know or let's um oh no as soon as we go it starts with and um let's just search the tech press for instance one uh, button they're missing here they should have like a little dictation button just a little one there because that'd be so useful but that'll be a bit ironic of having a dictation button when you're having a keyboard. Alright, let's just type in the tech press. As you can see, no uh, zero um hundred percent accuracy. And here I am coming up three thousand two hundred and twenty nine subscribers. Please keep on subscribing and I'll be doing more giveaways. I've been sent lots of products and I'm willing to give them all away as I have so many. And let's just go on it. And it makes simple tasks so much quicker and so much easier. So I really do recommend you in buying one. Simple tasks easier. £40. Put it down. Buy one. You know, put it in the link description below and for you guys to buy one. You know, even comment what you think of this. You know, comments really do help out. Like it. Favorite it. And if you're lucky enough, this one will, might be going to one of you guys. If this gets... Um, 100 likes, I'll be giving it away, and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Peace out, pal.